guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to make Haitian rice and beans using the real Haitian mushroom also knowing as Jojo and also in this video I'll be featuring these beautiful electric can openers that were sent to me from um, Kitchen Mamas these are so beautiful and so easy to use so I can't wait to show you guys how it makes my life a little easier in the kitchen so for this video you'll be needing two and a half cup of the dry mushroom also known as Jojo and I'm using two bags of baby lima beans and two tablespoons of my Haitian spice also known as a piece I do have a video up on this channel showing you guys how I make it I will leave the link for that video down in the description box and I have half a cup of oil you can use any oil of your choice and I'll be using half of a can of this coconut milk and I have one tablespoon of um, of garlic and I have some parsley and thyme tied together and a piece of bell pepper poked with some cloves you can use um, a jalapeno and just poke the cloves in there if you wish and I have two frozen Roma tomatoes I freeze mine because you guys don't have a garden so once summer is done I like to freeze them so they don't go bad and I'm using a lot of rice because I'm making a large amount of rice and of course you need some water and some salt to taste I don't measure my rice you guys already know that but I'll show you guys the trick that I use to cook my rice but if you want to measure your rice you can use one cup of rice and use two cups of water so one cup of rice for every um, two cups of water but other than that please check the description box where I will list everything I use in this video for you guys so let's get cooking guys alright guys so to get started I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about these um, kitchen mama can openers the big one came in a box like this it's basically an electric can opener and the smaller one comes in a box like this except the smaller one says auto electric can opener so we're gonna go ahead and use that smaller one but they basically the same except that one is um, auto stop so you want to go ahead I always like to wash the top of my cans when I buy anything um, in a can that I need to open so you want to go ahead and shake it up and it is battery operated I put four batteries in there so I'm gonna go ahead and take my can and clamp it really tight as it says I don't know if you guys can see oh you see that so clamp it really tight just like this and then I'm going to put it on the side and just push the button and let it do its thing how easy is that meanwhile you want to go ahead and boil four cups of water which I already did so I'm going to take four cups of water and just put it into my mushroom because we're gonna let that sit for about um, 10 to 20 minutes you guys requested this video even though I have so many rice and beans or rice and peas video up on this channel but you guys still insisted that I did one with the real mushroom so we're going to set this aside and let it sit for a good 10 to 20 minutes now we're going to check in our can and voila it opened as I was busy doing other things how easy and simple that's one less thing I had to worry about doing so thank you so much mama's kitchen for sending me this and you guys I will leave the link down in the description box where you guys can um, purchase your own electric can opener okay so to start you want to go ahead and set your stove to medium high and you go want to go ahead and take your oil and put the oil in and I am going to put in my garlic and I'm going to saute the garlic or get some color in my garlic for a good two minutes and then once it looks like how I like it to look I'm gonna go ahead and add my a piece to my pot you don't have to use garlic if you don't want to but I have garlic laying around the house so 
I decided to use it, but I don't always use garlic in mine. Okay, now I'm ready to put in my itty. And you want to cook this for a good three to four minutes until it's a nice, um, nice golden brown color. Okay, guys, you see my itty and my garlic have a nice color to them. At the same time, they are not burnt. So at this point, I went ahead and rinsed out my beans. And now I'm going to add my beans to my oil. And just mix that around a little bit. And at this point, you want to go ahead and add your coconut milk. So I'm adding half a can of my coconut milk. And I'm going to add my frozen um, tomatoes. You can use fresh tomatoes if you have. And now I'm going to add my peppers and then my parsley and thyme. Um, you can use Maggi Cube if you want to, guys. It is optional. If you guys eat Maggi, you can use Maggi. If you don't, you can leave it and just use salt and pepper if you wish. But I don't mind Maggi, so I'm going to use Maggi. But again, it is um, a personal thing. If you use Maggi, go ahead and do so. If you don't, you can totally leave it out. So from this point, you want to either add your Maggi or your salt or whatever you're using. And we are going to put a little bit of that mushroom liquid just to add a little bit of color to the beans. And before I added the water to my mushroom, guys, I just, you know, kind of look through it to make sure there's no rocks or anything. So I'm going to just put just a little bit of it, about this much. And then let the rest sit here for a little bit <laughs> and then mix that. Now you want to cover this and let this cook for a good 10 to 15 minutes. And then we can go ahead and add our water for the rice. Okay, it's been about a good 10, 15 minutes. Now you want to go ahead and take a strainer again. And now we are going to strain our mushroom. Um, just be very careful guys, because a lot of time there is um, sand on the bottom, but I clean mine pretty well, but you still want to be careful. So now I'm basically going to repeat the same step because I absolutely want more water than this. And then once I add Sorry, once I add the amount of water I need, you wanna go ahead and basically stir this and give it a taste. If you need to, you can add some salt. The amount of salt you use is totally up to your own liking. Just make sure you are tasting your food. Again, I'm gonna do this to the, I'm going to add more hot water to the mushroom until it runs clear. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some salt and then we can allow the water to boil before we go ahead and wash our rice and put our rice in. Make sure you are washing your rice, guys, when you are cooking rice. Okay, guys, I went ahead and washed my rice and my water is already boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my rice and place it right in the center. Just be very careful, of course, this is hot water. But at this point, before I placed it, I already went ahead and tasted my water. And the amount of salt I had in there was perfect. And I did not add any extra water besides the water from the black um, mushroom. If you haven't, please go ahead and like my Facebook page. Please share that page with everybody you know. And also go follow me on Instagram and come snap with me on Snapchat. And also go follow my Twitter and Pinterest page. I will leave the link for those down in the description box for you guys to check out. And if you are new to the channel, even if you are a return subscriber, please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified every Sunday when I upload a new video. I feel like some of you guys um, are not getting notified when I upload videos so I don't want you guys to miss out so please hit that bell so you can get notified. 
so now all I'm doing right now is I am about to take some of the water out this is just a technique I like to use so make sure your rice is above the water and I always like to take extra water out that way if my my rice is not cooked at the end I can always add a little more of this flavored water instead of trying to add plain water and of course doing it this way your rice will guarantee to be cooked perfectly because once the rice is cooked if it's if there's too much water in there you definitely can't take water out but if it's undercooked you can always add a little bit of water for it to finish cooking so with this technique I usually don't have to measure my rice or my water so just make sure like I said your rice is on top of the water so now you want to go ahead and mix the rice in and you guys if you can find this um, mushroom because it's not easy for me to find you guys know I live in North Dakota um, I brought this from Haiti like a while back and when my sister comes to the States, I usually have her bring me some stuff if I need something. But if you guys can find this and you guys know they have the, the mushroom and Maggi form, so you guys can always pick up the um, mushroom Maggi Jojo, which is still black. And I do have videos up on the channel using this kind of mushroom. But my friend usually send me this um, from Miami and I can find it in my local area here in North Dakota at my Asian um, store. So now all we're going to do is allow the water to go down and that should take a good 10-15 minutes. The water will be almost completely gone and then we can turn our rice and then allow it to steam so it can finish the cooking process. Okay, now that my water is almost done, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn my rice and um, at this point you want to go ahead and turn your stove down to medium low and I can already see and as you can already see that the rice is not cooked yet and this is why I take out the extra water so now I'm going to sprinkle some of the water on top of that rice not too much um, I'll do a good cup and a half eyeballing I guess and just put it around and then I'll mix it in a little more and this right here should steam your rice and you will have perfectly cooked rice once that rice is done so again you want to turn your stove down to a medium low and cover this and let it cook for a good 15 to 20 minutes or until your rice is perfectly cooked okay now my rice is done as you guys can see it is cooked just by looking at it now you want to go ahead and stir you guys can see the way I measure my rice my rice is cooked perfectly it's not sticking to each other you can count each rice individually if you want but you guys see so now I'm gonna go ahead of course and taste my rice at this point um, your salt should be on point but I'm just tasting it for to see if it's cooked mm. it tastes so good um, that fresh mushroom definitely give it a nice fresh um, flavor but like I said the cube maggi is good as well but of course fresh is always better it's just that most of us don't have um, access to the fresh mushroom so that cube will do as well but other than that I will be eating this with some stew fish which I do have a video up on this channel showing you guys how I make that as well I will leave the link down in the description box for you guys to check out but this will do it for this video guys please don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment like and share 
And please, please, please try these recipes. If you do, don't forget to tag me on social media. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell. bell. And that will do it. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys for watching. Bye-bye.